Assalamu alaikum kids I hope that you all are staying healthy and having a great week Well this is your English teacher Ms Javeria with another interesting text lesson today So let's open page number 20 unit number 4 English speaking countries and lesson number 1 on page number 20 My dear kids do you know that right meal on right time is really very important and healthy for your body in our daily routine basically we have three meals the first one is our breakfast the second one is our lunch and the last one is our dinner so here in this lesson today we are going to study some of the meals here now in the first exercise of this lesson a question is given let me read the question Which meal is Mr. Burkey going to have? Now first we have to read this lesson, we have to understand the lesson and the dialogues in between the characters, then we can find out the answer of this question that which meal is Mr. Burkey going to have. So basically we have two characters in this lesson. Mrs. B, of course the wife of Mr. Burkey, so we are calling her Mrs. B. and her daughter their daughter nadia now let's start reading this lesson but you have to listen to me carefully my reading my explanation and my pronunciation so let's start reading this lesson put your fingers on the first word mrs b i have made a pot of tea nadia would you like a cup now here mrs b is talking to her daughter that she has made a pot of tea and she is asking her that would she like to have a cup of tea now here what did nadia said she said yes please nadia said that she would like to have a cup of tea mrs b said how would you like it black or with milk and sugar now as we have discussed that we have variety of meals so that's why she asked to her daughter that what would she like to have black tea or tea with milk and sugar that we normally have in our breakfast nadia with milk and sugar please now here nadia said that she would like to have a cup of tea with milk and sugar in it mrs b said Would you like biscuits with it too? Now Mrs B is asking to her daughter that would she like to have something to eat with a cup of tea? Nadia said, "Yes, please. What are you cooking?" Now Nadia is curious here that what is her mother's doing inside the kitchen? What is she making? What is she cooking? So she asked her mother that what are you cooking today? Mrs B replied, "I am making your father's breakfast." Mrs B told her daughter that what is she cooking inside the kitchen she is making breakfast for her husband and for nadia's father nadia oh when did he come back from australia now here by listening to her mother's answer nadia got surprised that when did his father come back from australia his father was not in in their town he was out of town so she was surprised by listening to her mother that she has that he has came back Mrs B said he arrived home la late last night he is still sleeping i'll go and wake him up now now here mrs b told her daughter nadia that his father came very late last night so nadia must be sleeping at that time that's why she was unaware of his father's arrival so mrs b told her that she is making breakfast for her for him and right now she is going to wake him up for the breakfast Now as we have discussed in the beginning that one question was given as a exercise the question was which meal is mr burkey going to have now by reading this lesson and by understanding this lesson we have find out the answer now so do you know which meal is mr g mr b going to have yes he is going to have his breakfast now let's move towards our today's lessons difficult words but my dear kids as your today's lesson and topic was way too much easy so the difficult difficult words here are also not very difficult they are also fine but you have to memorize the spellings and pronunciation of these words our first difficult word is breakfast b r E A K break, F A S T breakfast. What does breakfast mean? Fast means to fast, 
to not have something for a very long time like we fast in ramadan kareem just like that so breakfast mean to break the fast because when we sleep at night and when we woke up in the morning it got a very long time period that we did not have something so we should break fast in the morning to break our fast and breakfast is really very healthy for your body and for your brain too our next difficult word is which is not very much difficult it is cooking c double o k i n g cooking now let's move to words our next difficult word which is must be your favorite thing biscuits b i s c u i t s biscuits now let's move to words our today's last difficult word which is sleeping s l double e p i n g sleeping now these were our today's lessons difficult words now let's repeat the words breakfast cooking biscuits and sleeping now let's move to words or today's word sentences in my previous lessons i have always encouraged you that you must make sentences of your own always try to make sentences by yourself never try to copy the sentences you just have to understand to how to make the sentence but you have to make the sentence by yourself now our first word is very simple it is t our first word which we are going to make the sentence of it is t what we can make we can make many sentences with it i like to have a cup of tea in the morning the next word is cooking it is a very very simple word you can make that my mom or my mother or my mom is making or cooking yummiest thing on this planet burgers my mom is cooking burgers today i am crazy about burgers are you let's move to words our next word which we are going to use in the sentence and it is wake up you can make a very simple sentence with this word just like i wake up early in the morning now for your home task i will give you some words which we have which you have to use in your sentence by yourself you can make very simple sentences by using these words now here our text topic is finished now we are moving to words our grammar portion we have a very interesting exercise today in grammar which is exercise number 4 on page number 21 in this exercise some plurals are given like i have already mentioned on the board here let's read with me these words first the fellows echoes heroes mangoes photos pianos potatoes radios tomatoes volcanoes these all are plurals now here we have to classify these plurals into two groups the first one is the os group and the next one is the oes group now let me tell you 
and let me teach you a very simple trick here what you have to do first you have to mark the singulars here like the singular of buffaloes is buffalo now what is left here es now we will see the group here this is the oes group so we will write buffaloes here is not it very simple now let's move towards our next word which is eco now again we will write this word in our oes group now just like the above examples let's move towards our next plural which is heroes let's encircle the singular which is hero and after that es added so we will write heroes in the oes group here heroes let's move towards our next word is mangoes again in the oes group i think this is the simplest way to do this work now here we have a different case we have a word photos the singular of the word photos is photo what is added here only s so where do we have to write in the os group photos our next word is pianos so again in the os group potatoes now here es is added so we will write potatoes in the oes group so you understand now in the same way it's radios we will write radios here tomatoes in the oes group then volcanoes again in the oes group now uh, let's repeat our groups now the plurals which we have added in the os groups are photos pianos and radios and the plurals which we have added in the oes group are buffaloes echoes heroes mangoes potatoes tomatoes and volcanoes now you have to do this work very neatly in your copies i'll catch you next week inshallah with another text and grammar topic till then see you take care goodbye